In my last Raspbian video, I showed how to install Raspbian Stretch Lite. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Raspbian Stretch Desktop. Now, in the last video I covered, the difference between the two is that Lite is command line only with no GUI, so you don't have to uh, have those system resources tied up displaying menus and whatnot. You just type things in to a command line. It's usually used in things that require more system resources than a Raspberry Pi and don't require any, any, any interaction with a desktop that you would need to execute your applications, which technically a lot of applications can run from the command line, whether or not you're using the, uh, the desktop interface or not. But to give fair side to it, if you want to set up a machine that you're going to use as a PC style machine or one that actually requires it for whatever reason, you would set up the desktop version. If you want to set up one that you really need more performance, you set up the light version. Uh, that gets you in a better situation for some projects. And one of the projects that I am planning to do requires the light version because the project itself stresses out the resources on the Raspberry Pi enough that adding any more on top is just going to make degraded performance and make the project pretty much invalid. So I uh, don't have a video where I'm going to benchmark the two to compare the difference, but taking away the GUI frees up a significant amount of memory and you can decrease the amount of memory used by the display so you get even more memory back. So there's a, a benefit to both, but there's certain circumstances where you definitely have to use one or the other. So as I already showed you how to install Lite, I thought I would go through and show you how to install desktop as well. So basically you go to the raspberrypi.org page, click on the downloads button and it brings you to this page. And there is an installation guide here. But that's okay, we don't really need to follow that so much. So we've got two images we can download, as I said. Raspbian Stretch with Desktop and Raspbian, Raspbian Stretch Lite. There are other operating systems on this page, but these are the two we're going to deal with now. Now, you can either download via torrent or you can download the zip file. I downloaded the zip file and it took a considerable amount of time to download. I'm guessing I'm at peak hours and that's what's causing the problem. But the light version downloaded fairly quickly. There is also some differences in size between the two. And we'll see those in a minute. I'm actually burning the image to the disk now because it actually took four times longer to burn the Raspbian Stretch with desktop image than it did to burn the Raspberry Stretch light image to the SD card. So I thought I would forego that because Nobody really needs to watch somebody burning an image, even at accelerated speed. But what we can do is go back and see some of the other operating systems while it finishes up. Uh, Noobs gives you a kind of a menu system to go through and load whatever operating system you want more automatically. And maybe we'll cover how to what this presents in another video. There are also different other types of operating systems. OSMC is a Kodi variant, uh, Windows 10 IoT Core, Snappy Ubuntu Core, Ubuntu Mate, Libra, Elec, which is another Kodi one, uh, there's Pinet, Risk, and several other options that you have. But today we're going to focus on Raspbian. And Raspbian is a Debian variant Linux for the Raspberry Pi. So it looks like our image is finished. So I'm going to go through and show you how to use our handy dandy etcher, which you can get from etcher.io, that'll burn your image. So to show you the difference in size between the two, we've got Raspbian Stretch Lite came in at 1.8 meg, and Raspbian Stretch Desktop came in at 4.8 meg. So it's, uh, it's about 3 meg more expansive than stretch light. So that's going to 
make sure that you need a fair size SD card to fit it on. So anyway, we are doing this one. And as I always say with Etcher, make sure that you pick the right device so that you don't overwrite something that you really don't want to overwrite. Now, I know the size on my USB drive. And I, uh, actually, it's a USB drive because I'm using a USB to SD card reader, writer. And the SD card that we're using for desktop is 64 gig. So I know this is the card that I'm looking for, so I can select it, click continue, and then I would click the flash button if I wanted to go through the process again. But I really don't need to do that. Now this video is not going to cover commands or tutorial on how to use Linux. What it's going to cover is installation and conf basic configuration of a Raspbian system. I have a lot of Linux projects that I'm going to be reloading and I thought it would be a good idea to focus on having two videos, one for Raspbian Lite and the other one for Raspbian Desktop that I could refer to rather than have to show you how to reinstall it at the beginning of every video. Instead, I can just reference these. So we're going to transition now and I'm going to show you what the system looks like on first boot with Raspbian Desktop and then a couple of the basic, very basic things that you would do when starting out Anything beyond that would probably be dependent on the project that you're working on. So those steps I'm not going to cover because certain things can change certain ways. So we're just going to go through some of the very basic steps. And we'll do those now. Okay, and here we have the Raspberry Pi during its first boot after we have put the image down for Raspbian Desktop. And it's already resized the file system, so we don't need to worry about that. And we are at the desktop. And we're going to go into the Raspberry Pi configuration section. And the first thing we're going to do is change the host name. We're going to change it to demo1. And we are going to change the password. I don't have a extended password currently saved in my buffer to paste in there but we can do that later but it is important to change the password and something you should definitely not neglect on any new system because anyone will know how to get into your system the rest of these settings all look okay for my application I don't need any additional things SSH is probably going to be nice so we'll go ahead and enable that not overclocking and we're not doing anything like that and we will it's already done pretty much everything we needed to and these are the applications that come with basic desktop command prompt and we will upgrade and update the system. Probably should have rebooted so that the service the host name is correct, but that's okay. Alright. We've updated the packages. And now we'll get. And as you can see, there are 61 packages need to be upgraded. 
which is an additional about 167 meg of archives and they're going to take up about two meg worth of additional space that we're not using now. Now I'm not going to go through this like I did in the light package because in the light package there were far less packages that needed to be updated and it took a little longer than I thought I was going to. But this concludes the basic configuration of Raspberry Pi desktop. So whatever we're trying to accomplish in the video that brought you here, you can continue watching that video and you should understand getting to the point where we start doing our project. But I'm going to go ahead and fire up these updates just in case I need them at some point. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, definitely put them in the comments below. And I'll do my best to answer them. But this is just a simple video to show the configuration steps that go into setting up Raspbian Desktop. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and I will talk to you later.